when it comes down to it, everybody has a different type. My type would be something affordable, something that's not too loud, something that I'm not gonna regret the next day. So what better than going with the Asus Tough Gaming Keyboard? This is the K1, and we're gonna go ahead and delve into it. Hope you guys have as, fun, as much fun with it as I do. Let's go. what's inside. Get rid of that plastic. So this is the Tough Gaming Keyboard, the K1. It's not too bad of a keyboard. It looks pretty nice. It goes with my Tough Gaming aesthetic. I wanted a budget keyboard, something that wasn't too loud. So when I go on my podcast, uh, the clicking isn't too crazy. I actually like the physical knob. That way, um, when I'm doing my podcast, I can easily reach and lower the volume up and down. I guess it, it maybe it isn't too different from a button, but it makes me feel like an actual DJ, I guess. So that's pretty cool. It does come with this little keyboard uh, rest, wrist pad. It comes with the quick start guide. letting you know what to do and then it also comes with this uh, warranty booklet so all in all this is what's inside not too bad So that's how the RGB looks on it, um, as you guys can tell, it's on full RGB mode. Right now I'm going to connect it to my computer, we're going to do a quick rundown of how to do that on Armory Crate, I hope you guys um, would like to follow me as I do this, but let's get it done. Before we run it through Armory Crate, maybe you guys want to do a quick audible test, it's not super loud. The button presses aren't super spongy either. I mean, it's perfect for me. Some people might want the more tactile feeling, so... If you're into something that's a little quiet, but still feels some response, this would be the perfect keyboard for you. We're gonna go ahead and connect the Tough Gaming to the Armory Crate. And then, um... I don't know why it says my M2 is connected. But I had it off. Let me go ahead and turn it on to breathing, my normal settings. So hopefully that shows. Okay, so as you can see, it matches the keyboard, the mouse, and my tower. So it's all connected. I could go through the different cycles if I want, you know, strobing color cycle, rainbow, starry night, pretty much whatever you want you can put it um, as but I like to leave mine on breathing and on white so that's totally up to you guys but I'm gonna go ahead and click on device click on tough gaming k1 that would be the keyboard it says you must first update your device to continue check for updates update now uh, since I plug this in already to show you guys it lit up I had to update it if it doesn't show up just click on the devices and update it and then it, it might pop up if it doesn't pop up for you guys 
So updating the firmware real quick. Hopefully it's, this doesn't take too long. But I'm already liking it as of now. I mean, I got the Tough Gaming mouse, the Tough Gaming keyboard, the Tough Gaming motherboard. I just need the GPU for ASUS and I'm pretty much set. But everything is linked up pretty nicely. It's almost there. Okay, so it says it's up to date. Cool. It went to the RGB mode. Let me see if I can change it back to the Let's see, it's connecting. This is what troubleshooting's for, guys. This is why I'm bringing you on my journey so we could all figure this out together. Now, this is a little embarrassing. It's not working. Maybe I'm gonna have to restart the, the R Sync. Who knows? Yeah, let's see. It's giving a little trouble. All right, it's connected. I had to click on it twice for some reason, but that's okay. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Tough Gaming K1, see what happens, see what the different settings are in here. So gaming mode, preferences, disable alt tab, disable alt four, select one single key and edit the key settings. So it lets me change what the different um, keys I want them to be, you know, different shortcuts or whatever. That's pretty cool. You know, one, the default. I could just change it to a bunch of different things. I haven't figured out what I want yet. I gotta use it regularly and then not get a seat. But, I mean, maybe you don't like some of the stuff that's on here. You can go ahead and change it. Um, I'm trying to figure out something I might not end up using. But, you know. F12, F11, you can change all those. They're already on pause, play. There's these M modes, you could probably change all that. So whatever you want to change these keys to, you can. It says lighting. I was hoping you could um, change the individual lighting on each key, that would have been pretty nice, but I guess not. But that's okay. Um, this was a budget keyboard, so I'm not too mad about it. And then firmware update, we already did that. Yeah, there's not too much you can do on it, but like I said, this is a perfect keyboard for me, so I'm not too mad. I'm not going to complain. So I had gotten this keyboard for um, $49.99. I feel like it's a great keyboard for the price. It matches up with um, my Aura Sync, everything in there. Sorry, I should have taken off the glass, but... I mean, like I said, it's a great keyboard. I would recommend it for anyone that has an ASUS um, motherboard or RS Sync compatibility. It would work great. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, I got these ASUS ROGs. I'll probably review those next. As you can tell, I'm kind of an ASUS type of guy. It all goes with my um, it all goes with my RS Sync ecosystem, so I like it. But I hope you guys hit like and subscribe if you liked the video. Feel free to check out any of my other videos. I got the Asus Tough um, mouse that I review. And I just have different reviews of GPUs as well too. So, um, like I said, hit like and subscribe. Leave some comments down below. Um, I, I appreciate you guys commenting, talking to me. I, I like talking to the community. So, I, I look forward to you guys reviewing my stuff, reviewing my reviews. And keep following Top 3 Tech. Let's get it.